Hi everybody, Mike here from Hebden Photography, this time with a quick tutorial on how to take your image, take an image and make it look something like a like a pencil drawing, like a line drawing. I have a shot I took of Julie not too long ago and uh, first thing I'll do is duplicate the background layer. I can do that a number of ways. I can take this layer click and drag it down to the new layer icon or you can hit Control J, Command J on a Mac and get the same results. The next step is going to be to desaturate the uh, this layer. I'm actually not going to do this layer. I'm going to add a layer up here to Hue Saturation and that's added a Hue Saturation layer and just drag that saturation slider all the way down and we're good. I'm going to take the the original sorry the uh, copy the background copy here and I'm going to change its blend mode up to color dodge here we are color dodge now you want to invert this layer the background copy layer by hitting control I or command I on a Mac it's gone almost completely white there which is fine what I want to do is head on up here to filter and blur Gaussian blur now I want to do that making sure that the background copy is still selected once I do that you can sort of see what's happening already I'm getting a bit of a bit of the outline here drag your radius slider up a little bit pay particular attention to the face really the face is the important part here once we start seeing some good detail there we're okay we can still bring it up a little more to, to get detail to get some harder lines in the rest of the image but watch out for the face that it doesn't get too too um, too dark the lines don't get too wide there we are. I like it like that it looks pretty good Click OK. I'm going to harden up these lines just a little bit. I mean, we're, we're actually, basically, we're done. I'm taking my, uh, I'm adding a levels layer. Uh, you may have missed that. I'll delete it now. I'm adding a levels layer. by clicking the levels layer icon. And I'm going to drag the black slider down. Wait a bit. There we are. You can see what that's done. It's just kind of hardened off the lines here made it a little better one other thing you can do can, is uh, bring all these layers together by hitting control alt shift E and what that's done is given us a copy almost like flattening the image but oddly enough it's it's different and what I'm gonna do is take that filter and Smart sharpen. My smart sharpen. I'm going to do a lot. About 100 and 150, 160 percent. 3.7 seems fine. That's this is quite a bit, but and you can see what's happened here. It's really created a hard. It might be a bit much. I'm going to pull that back a bit. There we are. I'm going to take the opacity slider and really play with it to get the to feel like I want it to. Now what has happened here is I really like what's happened to the face and the rest of the image, but I feel the hair is over sharp. So I'm going to go here, add a layer mask to it. And then on that layer mask, I'm going to paint in black. Get a bit bigger brush. And uh, about 50% opacity. And just take some of this out. There we go. So, there. That's a little more even. Uh, there's just personal taste there. You may or may not like your image, how it turned out. Uh, from here, I would. Well, I'm finished. Flatten your image, and you're done. I hope you learned a little something. Have a great day.